Actually, I'm doing great. You're doing great? Yep. Feel yeah. a lot better. Ribs are better. Yeah. You were much more active tonight. That was noticeable on the sideline. Yeah, I'll probably you know, pay for it a little tomorrow, but it was worth it. Um, I thought, you know, our guys were very resilient tonight. I thought they showed some grit, you know, especially in that second half. Um, you know, Mount St. Mary's a good team. You know, scouting them, we knew coming in they were going to be very physical, which they were. And we knew that no matter, you know, how much they were down, they were going to continue to fight battle and come back. You know, they did it against Kentucky. They did it against uh, Robert Morris. They were down big, came back and won in overtime. And, you know, we just kept telling our guys, like, we got to, you know, can't relax, can't relax. And I thought that stretch in the second half, um, you know, our defense really picked up, made some adjustments at halftime that really helped our defense in half court. Um, and we got some turnovers and runouts, but uh, great win. Coach, can you comment a bit on the importance of the rebound battle today, especially after, you know, the loss to Kentucky and the uh, rebounds from them? Yeah, I mean, it's an emphasis every game. And, um, you know, if you look at the Kentucky box, our, our guards did nothing. You know, rebounding wise, and when you know you got big guys where you know our bigs blocking out, you know we got to get guys to clean it up. And, you know, we, we did a good job, I think, tonight boxing out. They only had six, uh, but they also shot 54 percent from the field, so you know that, that's a little concerning. But uh, you know, to, to hold them to six offensive rebounds with their front line as big as they were, uh, I thought we got some big rebounds. Um, you know, in the second half. Uh, could you talk about the way your team adjusted offensively? Um, you guys have been great at shooting with three so far this year. That was not the case tonight. You didn't actually take a lot of them. Uh, was that the emphasis going in? Was that something you guys kind of figured out once this game got underway? Yeah, I think the way they play, you know, the ball screens, um, you know, they do a drop coverage. And so we knew, we knew we could get the ball in the paint. So our emphasis was really getting into the paint, which we did a lot. Um, and then play off of two feet, you know, jump stop, be strong because they, they ride you, they push you, and, you know, their fives come over and try to block everything. So I thought we did a really good job. I mean, we had 48 points, probably should have had 60. You know, Mark missed some easy ones that he normally makes. Tommy missed a couple layups. Sam missed a couple dunks. Um, so that was a big emphasis for us. Coach, in the first half, uh, Jalen Benjamin, um, he was four for four from three. Um, so what was the emphasis in the locker room? Um, trying to counter him and uh, play defensive strategy um, to stop him. Just yeah, I mean, he, he's a shifty player. He's really good. I mean, he's a UAB transfer. You know, he's scored a lot of points. And, you know, he, the big thing we, is we couldn't relax. And we relaxed a couple of times, and he just pulled up and shot it. And, you know, second half, we changed our ball screen coverage on him. So, you know, I thought that, you know, helped us a little bit, even though he was still 9 for 10, 5 for 6. But he didn't get the same looks that he was getting. Um, you know, and then we pressed there in the second half to try to get the ball out of his hands and try to deny him in the half court, you know, just to try to disrupt the flow a little bit. For the second time this season, you know, five of your guys and starting five this week have finished in uh, double figures. Can you kind of comment a bit about, you know, passing around between the five guys, having what the reliability of having so many shooters on the team compared to just one or two big guys? Yeah, I think our guys are very unselfish, and you know, I think that kind of you know shows. Even though today was more of a one-on-one -on -one drive, cut, you know, finish. You know, Ben Roderick's been struggling for shooting from three. You know, he had some great drives and finishes. You know, Mark is always in the paint. You know, and obviously a big emphasis for us is post touches with uh, Jason Carter and Ben Vanderplas. But our guys play off each other very well. Uh, you know, they they make the right read, they make the simple read. And uh, you know, when you share the basketball like that and have that balance, you're going to be tough to beat. Um, why, why did you uh, work on IJ and Phil tonight, or to the rotation tonight? Was, is that something you've been planning on doing? Has Illness kind of held that back, or is he calling late? Uh, yeah, so, idea, you know, probably should have you know, tried to work him in. You know, we, we ran out of gas, I thought, in the second half against Kentucky. And when we asked Jason Carter to bang on Toshibwe and bang on, you know, their bags and then do a lot on the other end. That's taxing. And, you know, IJ, you know, had mono and missed a couple weeks, uh, practice, didn't do anything. And, you know, missed the, the time that he missed was a valuable time to get reps and learn plays. Um, you know, he probably was our backup five at that point, you know, playing well. And, you know, when he came back, it was, a, I don't know exactly what day it was, but it was a time frame where we didn't have a lot of practice time. It was like game, quick turnaround where we went light. 
and uh, he's going to be a really good player here. You know, I think you know, we need to continue to work him in there and, and get him some reps. Um, but he, he's going to do a lot of good things here. So this is the timing issue with him. He was, he was on track to be a part of your rotation, get sick, and then it's hard to work a guy in once the season gets going. Kind of yeah, I mean, you know, especially for a freshman, right? When you miss all that time of teaching and plays and reps and you know, when you don't do anything, right, because you can't, you know, your timing gets off, your, your conditioning's off, and then when you come back, you know, the time frame where you know, we couldn't really work him in because we weren't practicing like we were, you know, three weeks before that. And, um, you know, he'll continue to you know, get some minutes. And, you know, I think we got to give Jason and BVP some blows. Um, I think AJ, you know, Clayton's playing unbelievable for a 17-year-old kid who should be a senior in high school, uh, get, getting more confident in every game. You know, and AJ will be the same way once he gets reps. Do you like what you've seen out of Miles? Is, is that his spot now, so to speak? Is that, that off guard in your starting lineup? Yeah, I think he's playing well at both ends. Um, you know, he just, you know, he and London are our two best on ball defenders. You know, so when, when both those two are in there, you feel really good with Mark on the ball as well. And, um, you know, it's like, it doesn't really matter who starts. You know, the minutes will, you know, play out, you know, how they play out. Um, you know, Miles has played 21 minutes, Lundo played 20. And, um, you know, it'll be a game by game feel and, you know, who's playing well, who, who you know, who's, who's got it going. But, uh, you know, when we need a defensive lineup, you know, both those two will probably be in the game. I've seen him over the past few games at the same time as I've been getting a lot more minutes than he did, you know, last season. Can you kind of talk a little bit about his progression? What have you kind of seen out of him? Has he been practicing well? Kind of how's it developed for him? Yeah, you know, when Sam plays, you know, within himself, you know, cutting, rebounding, you know, uses his length defensively, um, you know, he's one of our better defensive rebounders. And, um, you know, with him, it's about, you know, really guarding the basketball, being able to keep the ball in front. And, you know, he didn't play a whole lot. He played early last year and then, you know, didn't play towards the end. And, um, you know, it's, you know, when you have London McDay, Ben Roderick, those guys, sometimes it's tough to get minutes. But I think Sam can help us as well. I mean, he played 14 tonight. You know, we, we, we plan on him, using him in the rotation moving forward as well, um, you know, to create some depth. You've kind of got through the first salvo of the season here, Jeff. What are some of your impressions uh, five games in? Now that you, you might have a practice day or two here over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, I think we have a chance to be really good. And, you know, our, our guys have, like I said all along, they've been mature. You know, they, they've done a great job of going day by day. And like I told them after the game, you know, we're playing Concordia, you know, which is a game you should win, but it's college basketball. You know, you got to play the right way. And we got to continue to get better. We'll be off tomorrow, practice uh, Wednesday and Thursday. And, you know, this is the time of year where you want to continue getting better. And um, I think if we can, you know, add the depth piece to it, it, w it will help us even more so, um, you know, moving on through the season. Coach, it seemed like the Bobcats played tight defense tonight. They forced 20 turnovers, uh, 10 steals overall. Jason Carter was crucial forcing steals. Uh, Compared to the game against Kentucky, what did you have any thoughts on tonight's defensive intensity and overall performance? Yeah, I thought um, I thought we did some really good things in Kentucky. You know, they just put so much pressure on you. Um, you know, transition and tonight coming in, our focus was rebounding. You know, make sure we block out. And the way they play, I mean, they they had a lot of movement in their offense, a lot of handoffs, a lot of dribble handoffs, a lot of outside ball screens. And a lot of times you don't see that outside ball screen where the dribbler is going towards the sideline as opposed towards the middle. And, you know, in the first half, it created some problems for us the way we were guarding it because they were able to get downhill. And, you know, those bigs are good. And I thought in the second half we did a much better job, you know, adjusting to it and, and uh, you know, making them work a little harder. Anything else? How do you handle the holiday with your guys, Jeff? So uh, we're going to practice uh, Thursday morning early, and then we'll have a team meal uh, with our guys. And um, you know, some of the guys will be able to go home, you know, local ones um, after practice, and then uh, you know, game on Friday as normal as is. So you don't cater like a like a, a plant-based turkey to, to put on the trip to fan or anything like that. I think we might go deep fried, right? <laughs> No, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cater in at OUN. Uh, have a great meal for our guys, and obviously we have a lot, all have a lot to be thankful for, and you know, it'd be great to uh, you know spend it together. 
Why don't you go to this real quick, Jeff? You know, um, Russ asked me what my favorite thing was, and it, it's kind of my mom is a great, you know, chef baker, so she normally cooks the Thanksgiving meal. And one year we were in Long Island, my mom couldn't make it out, so my wife cooked it. And my wife was like, no wonder this all tastes so good. It's got a stick of butter and everything. And, you know, so I think probably the favorite is the leftovers, right? That turkey sandwich with mayonnaise and salt on it. You know, right. later in the night, that's probably my favorite part. Sounds healthy, too. 100%. Thank you. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach. Mayonnaise and salt, yeah. Uh, Jason, how much of an emphasis was put on rebounding tonight after, after Friday? I mean, that was, that was the name of the game. That and physicality, and I think Coach came in and said we won the rebounding war by four. Only gave up six offensive rebounds and much more improved from the last game. Um, you guys only took 14 shots from three. Was, was that by design or was that what – yeah, they look like they were trying to chase you off the arc, especially. Yeah, so, you know, watching them on film, and then as we got in the game, they were really sticking to our shooters on drives. So, like, our whole goal was, you know, drive, take that first bump, get in the paint, land on two, and if nobody comes, go up through them and finish. Uh, five of you guys for the second time this season have scored in the double figures, you know, all of you guys in the starting lineup. Uh, what kind of does that say about you guys' non self initiative? Selfishness around with the ball passing around, especially after Sir Mark was the only one to score double figures by the end of the first half. Yeah, and I mean, it just means we trust each other, and you know, it doesn't matter who's scoring the ball as long as we're up, we're winning, and you know, certain nights it's going to be one guy, and other nights it's going to be another, and more more nights than not, we're going to have two, three, four, and even five on some of those nights, and that just says a lot about our trust and how we move the ball. But to elaborate on what he said, yeah, we have a lot of options. We really do, and even on the bench. Mark, how would you describe that first half offensively for you guys? Uh, it's just they was locking on our shooters, and the coaches said just uh, it would really be like a two-man game with the guard and the big, and we just uh, we thrived on that in the first half. Did, did you guys feel a little bit out of sync early on? Um, from the start, but once the game started going on, we started to uh, lean, lean together, and we started getting, getting to go. As far as uh, Jalen Benjamin, he started out four for four from three. Uh, what was it like? Could uh, Coach Bull say anything in the locker room? Did, um, how we had key emphasis on like closing out on him? Yes, we wanted to uh, take him off the three point line, and he didn't. He didn't even. I don't even think he scored in the paint. So he, the coach wanted us to make him score in the paint. How would you assess the first two weeks? Oh, uh, it's, it's been great. You know, we only lost one game. We're four and one. And we got a good bounce back win, and we just want to keep on building on this win. How do you guys kind of see you can build off this win? You know, obviously it's a, big, it's a pretty double digit win after a big loss. You know, what kind of, what do you guys take out of this? What do you build off of this? Yeah, so I mean, as Coach always says, you, there's always something you can learn from win, winning and losing, and it's always more fun to learn from winning. So, like, obviously, Kentucky game, we realize we got to rebound better, and that's going to be an emphasis from here on out. And then obviously like defense is going to continue to be a part of our game that we're going to continue to work on. And especially with our ball pressure, we thought that was a little lackadaisical, especially in the first half. And that's really what in the second half helped us extend that lead from six points to like 12. So, you know, just going to keep learning, keep growing from it and taking it one game at a time. Uh, before tonight, over the last three years, well, and Jeff's time here as a head coach, Ohio was not won a game when it didn't make at least six three pointers. You guys broke that string tonight. Did, did you? Did you guys need to win one of these games where you didn't, you know, drop in a bunch of threes? Mark, yeah. I mean, we um, we didn't have no idea about <laughs> yeah, that, I but I didn't and we just came out and played. Their game plan was to take us off the three point line, and we're like top twenty in the country and. Three point attempts and makes. So, yeah, that's pretty, the game, that's going to be the game plan for a lot of teams to do on us because we shoot the three ball well, so well, one through five. Anything you want to add to that, Jason? Yeah, I mean, he's right. And I mean, there's going to be games like that where teams really lock up like they did tonight on and just let us drive and going to force us to finish at the rim. And I mean, the fact that we could get it done, that just shows that we, we have the ability to do it. We just got to continue to emphasize that and not, not just get comfortable with just taking. 33s, even though some nights we might. 
Mark, you had seven of Ohio's 12 assists tonight. You know, uh, has that kind of been something you've been working on more, kind of sharing the ball, getting the ball to other guys? Has that been something you've been working on? Can you kind of comment on that? Uh, I feel like that always been a part of my game. It's just we had a lot of, when I would drive, it would be a lot of eyes. So when, uh, like, B-Rock cut or J.C. cut, they're, they're going to be open majority of the time and it's just putting, them putting the ball in the basket and making the right read. Either of you guys big Thanksgiving, guys? Is it Thanksgiving? <laughs> Thanksgiving. Oh, Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Do you guys yes. like look forward to it? Is, is it a big holiday on your calendar? Oh, is it yeah. not because it's in the season? How do you guys feel about it? I, I love it. I mean, I'm a big food guy, Me and too. I like like my family's always big on getting together, and it's just it's nice to get together with family members that you're not seeing every day, especially in college, and you know, munching down on a lot of food. Although I'm gonna have to cut back this year because we got a game on Friday, but. I'm still gonna enjoy it. Yeah, me too. Especially me being away from home yeah. and not being able to have Thanksgiving like uh, he would with his family. I'm uh, relaxing with my teammates. Try not to eat as much turkey. Lay back on that. But yeah, nah, just have a nice little Thanksgiving meal would be nice. What's the what's the dish that you gotta have to make it Thanksgiving meal? Uh, mac and cheese, turkey. Oh, <laughs> Greens. Can you really pick one? Yeah. Like, like you gotta, we, we gotta have a plate yeah. to put together here. So, it's a lot. anything else? All right. Thanks, everyone.